Where are you calling me from? Houston. Houston, how old are you? 48. 48, what you do for a living? Um, let's just say criminal justice. Okay, you gotta keep it a secret? I, I, I don't like to just say it immediately. Okay, criminal justice, we'll say. Um, what's your zodiac sign, Pam? I'm a Capricorn. Capricorn. Do you have any kids? I do, but they're four adults. They don't live with me. I live alone. Okay, how old are your four adults? The oldest girl is 31, and the boys are 24, 26, and 29. Okay. All about the same man? No, two. Two men. Have you ever been married? No. Uh, moms of four adults by two men, never married. What kind of man are you looking for now, girl? Well, I'm looking for someone who has his stuff together. And what I mean by that is um, he's certain of who he is and what he wants out of life. Okay. Um, what are your deal breakers? Um, deal breaker would be inconsistency, uh, no communication. Um, that's pretty much it. Okay. Hmm. Fuck is you talking about? Here we go. The most single demographic of women on earth. Another one, you know, she gonna sit up here, four kids. She gonna start asking for my guy Don, the old timer. Can't you, you know, you know that guy you had up here? He ain't checking for you. Come on, man, y'all can't see what I'm saying. Look at that background for for uh nah nah man, it's clean as a whistle. Come and she got to be all by her alone, so she ain't got no man to share that nice surrounding. That's that's a nice. That's a nice hunching atmosphere, man. She missing out. I feel for them, man. They at the peak like a dude. They at the peak of their life. They, they in a financial stride. Not their physical stride. That's the blow to freak out. But they in a financial stride. And they want what they want and can't get it. My heart hurts for them. <laughs> Here we go. Um, should he look a certain way? Um, I'm five two, so I prefer a taller man. Um, you know, just someone who's he doesn't have to look like a Boris Kojo, but he needs to look nice enough so we can go out in the daytime and at night. He doesn't scare me at night. Now he has to be good looking in the daytime and in the dark. Okay. Um, uh, what about money? Should he make a certain amount of money? Um um, I'll say he should make enough to where he's comfortable and he can still do whatever he wants. Okay, fair enough. Let's do the Kendra cam. Oh, that's when I stand up. Okay, I got on some little shorts. Okay. In my house, y'all, and your house looks clean. Oh, it's Facebook. It's just me. Oh, okay. Ooh. Okay, boo, we see you. Man. Hell. Listen, this is a setup. She all set up for a prison bay, green car bay, anything. I mean, the world is yours, like Tony Montana. And understand something about look at that. Prison bay, green car bay. This is good pressure in her favor. She like, look, I got bread. I'm sturdy. She built sturdy. All right beautiful beautiful house or apartment whatever that is condo nug nug and prison bay will have to think like do i really want to mess this up they would have they would be inclined to stick around and do semi right by this woman you know not not be blatantly disrespectful at the least because look at what she bringing to the table won't he do it here we go <laughs> let her go but look at that setup I can see Nug Nug Prison Bay. He on the couch. She got the TV mounted over, right over, you know, yonder. What are we talking about? I mean, the Xbox setup. <sighs> what are we talking about? That is, it, it don't get no better than that. <laughs> I got to put my charger in my phone. Okay, there we go. All right, okay, we see you, Pam, girl. Make sure you get, there we go. Thank you. Look at you. Got it together. Pam, you. Yeah, look at that setup. The TV mounted. The couch, that is like putting cheese on a mousetrap for a rat. You understand? <laughs> I'm trying to, no, I'm trying to, y'all don't understand. Nug Nug coming there, he going to be overwhelmed. He going to stop. 
He gonna look at her, gonna be like, look, I've been messing around in these streets, but I'm willing to be serious with you. I'm serious now. All right, I'm serious. Just don't be trying to pick apart my lies and we're gonna be all right now. I'm serious about you. <laughs> Forty-eight. What's the age range you want to date? Um, forty-eight to fifty-five. Okay, so you won't date anybody younger than you? No. Girl, forty-seven, forty-six is a no. Okay, I'll take a. I'll take. Okay, I'm forty-eight. I'll take a forty-five. Cause you are a Capricorn, so you turn forty-eight this year. No, actually, I'll be forty-nine in January. Well, no, this year. We January oh. next year. Yeah, I turned 40, I turned 48 this year. Yes. Yeah. So, yes. okay. So, but you I'm not trying to convince you, but you want, you're willing to go to 45? I would. Okay. When was your last relationship, Pam? Um, let's see. I've been in my career for seven years. So about five years ago, steady five. relationship. Okay. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When was the last time you was intimate with someone? Um, I'll answer it this way. It's been a while. It's been a while. Okay. Mm. Three flaws you have to work on. Um, I need to be more patient. <laughs> um, I need to stop working as hard as I do. Um, and I would say maybe more approachable because sometimes my face will say it. Oh, sometimes her face will say it, child. Yeah. All right, Pam. And why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Um, because I am a genuine, hardworking, loyal, consistent person. Um, even if the relationship doesn't work out, um, I'm, I can be a true friend. So if he gets with me, he'll have at least a true friend, <laughs> if anything. Okay. You have a true friend now. He got plenty of friends. They go to the bar, they shoot pool, they play darts, they shoot the dozens. All that ain't what you for. He needs something to look at, something to rub on. I uh, hate something to get warm with at night. And most importantly, he needs a provider. So here we go. We got to we got to change some words here, sister. I'm trying to help you out, Miss Miss Pam Webb. All right. First she talking about she need to stop working so much. You stop that. You you need to keep working. Don't ever stop. Because the man you desire, he going to need some of them frog skins. And we got to change out the word out your vocabulary. She said she's very genuine. Take genuine. Get that out of there. Bring in generous. You must be generous. A generous provider for this man that you need, all right? So stop. Stop. I'm trying to keep hope in the room here. Yeah, seriously. Like, <sighs> well, I said it before. Uh, Prison Bay, Green Car Bay. Because we definitely can't send Mr. 40 in here. He worked too hard for this. See what I'm saying? She uh, she almost got over on us. She said when it came to income, we got y'all gotta do better, man. They keep they keep just like sprinkling this little hoodoo and go over that. And we don't touch on it. She said her man gotta be able to take care of himself and be able to do whatever he wants to do. That sounds like a goddamn going millionaire to me. A man that could do whatever he wanted to do. That's how she worded it. No other context. Do whatever he wants to do. On U.S. soil? All right. Nah, we just said it. He worked too hard, man. Yeah. You see see what I'm saying? That's that's cruel to Mr. Fort Ayers. Because you would think she would be loyal to him, considering all of the details. She'd mess around and give Mr. Fort Ayers a black pill. And, that, and we don't ever allow that. No, sir, no ma'am. That's why prison bay. Somebody, you know, she got to take care of. She the breadwinner. Mm -hmm. Yep. She pulling up to her little functions. Nug nug getting out the passenger side of his sugar mama's ride. Trying to holler at all her younger nieces. <laughs> Pam, you don't do you mind if he has kids? Um, No, I don't mind if he has kids because I have grandkids. So. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do it. We got Pam. Oh, should he be in Houston? Um, I would say, yeah, at least Houston, maybe Dallas, because I live in the Woodlands. So maybe Dallas, that's not too far of a drive. But as far as another state, unless he's willing to move. No. Okay. 
So we got Pam Houston, 48. That's another thing. You in Houston, the competition is just like Atlanta. Move north. Uh, Columbus, Ohio. Buffalo, New York. Uh, Minnesota. All right. Maine. Right on the coast. Where all the, uh, where all the lighthouses at. All the way north. <laughs> Yeah, you need to be where they lay salt on the ground for snow uh, for six months out of the year. Mm -hmm. where, no, where prison bays and green car bays will be desperate for warmth. Hm. Come on now. Use your weight to your advantage. Come on. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Works on criminal justice. Mom to four adult children by two men. Are you on the Kendra G Singles dating app? I am. I actually downloaded it last night. Okay. What's your name on the app? It's 40 username. So now you have the username because I would have put a pan job. 40, just yeah. put in the word 40 and she'll come right up. That's yeah. a great. Okay, auntie. <laughs> Hell. Yeah, I guess she looks younger, relatively younger in her picture. I don't like it. I don't. See, because if you look too much better in your picture, that's catfish. It could still, it, it looks like her. Ain't nobody gonna oh, that ain't you. You did a lot, but you did enough. You did too, you did enough, and enough is too much. <laughs> that ain't you. <laughs> it's unfortunate. All right, but goodness mm. gracious. Those, see, I'm here tripping those little five dots that you scroll to see other pictures. I thought that was a daggone choker. I'm about to say she tripping. <laughs> Let's see what else she got. Let's see. The thing about the username. So now you have the usernames because I would have put in Pam Child. So yeah. it took her forever. But yeah. I put in 40 and she came right up. So here mm. she is, Pam. Let's see. Okay, Pam. 40 and loving it. 40 and loving it. All right, Pam. Let me go through your photos. Okay, so 40 and loving it on the Kendra G Singles dating app. She's in Texas. She's 5'2", 50. You said you're 5'2", 50 pounds? 150 pounds. You I thought I changed it. You left off the 100, girl. It says I'm 5'2", and 50 pounds. Okay, no, let me. I'll go back and change it. <laughs> said I'm 5'2", and 50 pounds. Okay. <laughs> I live in the Woodlands, Texas. I have four adult children. I have a career and have been in the same field for seven years. What am I looking for? I like to find a man who's genuine and kind, a man who has a sense of humor and family-oriented um also he's not only he does not only know god but has a relationship with him deal breaker some of my deal breakers would be lack of consistency all right 40 and loving it but just put in her name is pam you can put in 40 and she'll come right up pam all right baby girl and stop with to 40 and you you 50 you 50 and hating it all right 40 and loving it that was that was a decade ago right now you are 50 and you 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 dislike it <laughs> you go from 40 and loving it to like you said to 50 and disliking it <laughs> to keep to keep it nice can't say hating it uh you know i'm 50 and things have been better kendra hold up now i get this is too many props she's still a gold mine for a particular ninja however too much cap too much slides too many have braddock who do truths man she ever here talking about 40 and loving it. She got a typo saying she 50 pounds. Come on, man. Proof free. Do something. Like, like can't you have all these excuses? 50 pounds. And then she's going to say 150. See? Even when you try to correct it, you still lying. Nah, nah. You still lying. You still lying. So with that being said, over the hills, through the woods. Come on, nah, nah. It's See, see, I don't know. I think this is just my undying respect for my elders. I want to see the best for them. But you done messed up, Nana. And now, no meat for you if you don't pay. 